Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to my reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. They're ready to take the lead here. It's more like they're ready to commit to this. As in, not like a commitment as such, but more like, let's work to this. Let's talk about it, okay? Now they're ready to be with you on the same page out here, okay? They're wanting to reconcile. They're wanting to um, put in the effort. They're trying to learn more about you. They're trying to learn more about the connection, whether it's an old connection or a new connection, okay? There's always a lot of learning to do, right? So earlier, probably they were refusing to learn about the connection, refusing to put the effort here, you know, refusing to put in the hard work that was required here to make it work out here. Now, I think uh, they're coming up as a point where uh, they're trying to wanting to be dedicated. They're being more alert. They're trying to pay attention to the connection, okay? And they're wanting to move forward in this connection, okay? Like they have goals out there, okay? They do have goals here. But they are taking part. I'm wanting to take part in this connection and like grow it together right here. You, on the other hand here, with the Six of Swords in reverse here, uh, there are chances you're not being able to move on from this person here. It's like you're not doing what you're supposed to do okay to let this connection go but uh you're avoiding change of some sort now you know you need to leave a toxic situation here but you're not being able to leave it you know so you're not leaving the toxic situation here. you're staying it's like you're staying a little bit longer here okay but there are chances that you're not even over this person you're not even ready to mentally leave the situation but you could just be running away from the connection okay you could just be running away here you're probably not seeing the positive in the connection here it's like you know what i don't even want to think about it okay instead of acting like you know uh, this is the blessing in disguise maybe you're like i don't want to think about it uh but right now here there's like this in the current situation you could both of you all be you know in this uh, inner turmoil okay there's a lot of deep-seated fears a lot of deep-rooted fears here okay so it's like a never-ending cycle out here uh let's see uh how does cancer view this person or the connection with this person how does cancer view this person or the connection with this person? Okay. How does this person view the connection with cancer? How does this person view the connection with cancer? Okay. And what is the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy? Both of you are ignoring this connection right now. Both of y'all. Both of y'all want to be in the driver's seat out here. Okay. Um, you could be viewing this connection as very burdensome. Okay. Probably you're the one who's taken up extra responsibilities in this connection out here. Okay. You're the one who's doing all the work out here. And, but you do view this connection as something where, you know, you've taken up extra load. You've taken the burden of this relationship and you're the only one who has to do everything out here, you know. Instead of this person trying to contribute it. But you're at the end of the cycle here. You know, both of you are at the end of the cycle here, alright? It's just that this person out here, now they view this connection and wanting to work on this connection, wanting commitment, wanting some kind of stability, security, you know, marriage out here. You, on the other hand here, with the Ten of Wands here. Um, so basically what's happening here is you are very bogged down, okay? You probably think this is too much of a burden here, okay? Uh, you're probably overloaded out here, okay? But I think somewhere, somehow, you're probably taking on too much, okay? This is a lot of self-imposed stress, all right? Coming from your side out here. This person here does view this connection as they want this with you, okay? Shit, that's damn dark, right? One second. Better now? Yeah. So, yeah, that's you. That's them here, okay? Now they view this connection as wanting something stable, solid, committed out here. Now keep in mind out here, the energies can be switched, all right? So it could be you, it could be the person you're dealing with, all right? So take it how it resonates. With the Empress in reverse here, the overall energy is telling me that, uh, as the mutual energy, that both of y'all are being too controlling out here, okay? Both of y'all are not being able to, ready to let this go. You know that sense of acceptance, that sense of where something needs to grow, but it's going to grow at its time out here, okay? It's like you have a plant and you are putting in so much water because you want it to grow so quickly, which is, again, controlling the outcome, being attached to the outcome, okay? So that's, but that's happening from both your sides, Okay. Could be both of you are neglecting this connection or both of you are wanting to drive this connection according to the outcome that you'll want it to. But that's the mutual energy, which is why there's a lack of growth and expansion out here. Okay. What is the root of the issue for cancer and the person they're dealing with? What is the root of the issue? What is the root of the issue? So, um, there is a very strong connection here. This is a strong soulmate twin flame connection out here. Okay. Both of you all have a lot of love for each other. Both of you all are very, very committed to each other. Okay. Uh, someone out here 
needs to walk away from their comfort zone okay and start moving slowly towards this connection but the problem here is this person here is so stuck up in their comfort zone out here okay and this person out here is lacking the willingness to invest into the future of the connection so what happens is that they are going around in circles okay so one person out here is going around in circles not doing what they have to do okay and completely ignoring that connection or ignoring the situation and what they do is they keep coming back they keep coming back goallessly they keep coming back like without any direction it's like i love you i want you i feel the connection with you but i'm not going to do what it takes to make this connection work out okay so someone here is very stuck up in the way they view the connection here or very stuck up in their perspective they probably feel they're doing the right thing out here but actually that's just a waste of time and just sacrificing for nothing what is cancer feel deep down for this person that they're dealing with what is cancer feel deep down for the person they are connecting with what is cancer feel deep down for the person they are connecting with what does this person feel deep down for cancer what does this person feel deep down for cancer what action will cancer take towards this person moving forward what action will cancer take towards this person moving forward what action will cancer take towards this person moving forward one more card for action for cancer what action will this person take towards cancer moving forward one more card what action will this person take towards cancer moving forward you're breaking your own heart here first of all you're very heartbroken okay that's for sure here you're heartbroken out here now <clears throat> deep deep down you're emotionally committed to this person here okay you do love this person to the moon and back here but it's like you mastered your emotions there is this lack of impulsiveness coming from you all right it's like yes i love this person i want this person uh i can't move on from this person out here i know what i need to do but i'm resisting that change okay but at the same time here this is a relationship that is getting too much for me all right i'm the only one who's contributing out here if i communicate there's communication if i don't communicate then there's no communication for days blah 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 all right i make the plans etc that's how you thinking here but with the four of swords here i feel that you are taking a step back here all right so the love is there from your side here but you're taking a step back here like yes this is what i want here but it's this uh you're at a stage where there's a lot of stress anxiety and uh, your mental health is getting to you okay uh you're probably needing solitude or alone time from this person out here probably things are getting too overwhelming for you to cope up all right so you're stepping away from this situation because you're not being able to handle it anymore here but you do feel that there is a need for mental rest out here okay you're wanting to take some space and time thinking time out here okay could be even be a holiday you can be going on a solo trip why not this person out here right i feel that this person out here was earlier probably um this person here is probably still neglecting the situation here okay maybe this person has too much going on in their life okay so they are very very disorganized that's the kind of person you're dealing with this person does not know how to strike a right balance here okay so this person here i feel could be biting off more than they can chew so they have a lot going on here but they're finding it very difficult to keep a balance here you know to keep the balancing act going on you know because there's so many conflicts and demands around them here okay so this person is probably making you feel neglected and probably they're over investing in another area of their life here okay which is why probably they're just like i don't know what to do they're very confused here they're probably very pressured by responsibilities also is what i'm getting here okay but there's a lack of concentration there's a lack of being flexible out here okay where i can you know uh, give equal time to both whatever now it can be your relationship and their work life your relationship and their family life whatever it is but this person lacks balance out here i feel this person here is kind of pessimistic okay but eventually but gradually they will reach out with the knight of wands here so they're not reaching out although they view this connection as very stable secure okay where they want this with you here but again see when i said this right they're not willing to invest into the connection they're still going round and round it's like first they were taking baby steps towards the connection now they're so bored because it's getting nowhere or because it's just so slow out here which is why you could also be getting out of this connection because you just feel it's getting nowhere here but they're rushing rushing back okay so they're rushing back with that extreme um 
passionate energy you know now this person could also be wanting to travel with you or travel to you yeah. okay but this person out here the way they're coming in right i feel they're still coming in through chasing this relationship why because you're giving up you're not opening up you're probably just shut down you know you're just not communicating with them is what i'm getting here okay but this person here likes chase okay so they are probably not ready to commit yet okay but uh they're like this uh love them and leave them kind of person okay because uh there is forward movement here okay they're rushing back it's uh, probably a long overdue uh communication or long overdue movement from their side out here but yes um the way they're moving towards you is more like um i want this now they're not thinking reasonably okay so i think put the three of wands in reverse here i also feel that this person is probably uh coming to a point where they're like you know what fuck it i'm not waiting anymore okay maybe they feel you've turned the, your back to the situation here but the three of wands in reverse is definitely telling me where it's like they're uh, overly optimistic also so it's what i'm getting here could be overly optimistic okay but they're coming back in their actions they're coming back you in your actions uh, um, no in their feelings they want to come back sorry in your actions out here we have the magician in reverse and the three of swords you're, you're half hearted right now you're not being able to manifest what you want to you want to manifest this person back but it's a lot of half hearted energy you know where it's like you're doubting you you want it but then you're like i don't know if i want it should i want this is it going to be the same shit different day do i have the capabilities or the abilities to make it happen here yes you do yes you do but the thing is that this is a wasted talent out here okay that's what's happening here you're wasting your talent you're wasting your manifestation skills okay so i think you're not sure about what you want okay but there's a lot of self doubt coming from your side maybe you just feel the timing is wrong out here okay but you do have everything that you need okay to use it effectively but right now there's this half heartedness there's a lack of communication from your side or from their side out here okay but you're definitely struggling you know to manifest the desired outcome out here you feel something like this this missing piece of the puzzle out here which you're not being able to find or not being able to join in in order to manifest this person into your life which is again with the three of swords are causing a lot of stress anxiety in your life okay this person out here is trying to avoid drama as much as they can so it's like you know what this person out here they know that if they come towards you there's going to be too much drama too much chaos out here okay and uh, they probably know that there's going to be a conflict here when they come towards you okay maybe this person is too busy here they're not being able to give you the time there's a lack of teamwork from here okay and probably they're taking up too much pressure if they come towards you but there are a lot of fiery arguments you know petty fights between you both here temporary hiccup is what i'm getting here but there are a lot of obstacles and challenges but what's happened here is that this person here has found a way to run away from the connection or to run away from this conflict it's like if i face this then i'm going to have to face the consequences there are no bad and good consequences there are consequences you stay away from uh, they stay away from you there are consequences they come towards you and try and talk it out there are consequences okay but um the guy was out here i think this person here is just not wanting to rush in and argue anymore okay they're more like holding back trying to take a step back out here okay and this time around they're probably telling themselves that like, you know what let's just think about what i want to do or let's just think about how they want to approach you because right now they're totally refraining from saying anything or communicating okay so they are probably in that belief system where it's better to have a slow and steady approach this time than rushing in out here so in their actions they in their feelings they want to rush in but in their actions they're not doing anything about it okay which is why you're also getting into that energy well well screw it you know maybe i'm just manifesting the wrong goal out here or i'm just never going to get what i want let's see what is the best possible outcome for cancer from the 1st to the 10th of october 2021 what is the best possible outcome for cancer best possible outcome for cancer oh la la nice uh okay did i say nice too fast i feel like uh the what's the eight of wands what's the chariot all right so yep 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 someone's coming in all right so eventually this person is going to come in okay they're going to have that power to overcome any obstacles out here i'm getting a lot of travel from this person here so this could be someone who's at a long distance from you or at a distance from you they would want to travel towards you they want to travel towards you could be abroad wherever right but there is going to be a lot of quick passionate communication expect a lot of communication unexpectedly out of nowhere so if things are completely stuck and stagnant between you both here boom it's going to start so quickly out of nowhere okay it's like you know how these arrows are coming through the air right these wands out here that's how it's going to be it's going to be like through air it's going to be like uh i feel it's going to be social media you know 
and there's going to be social media okay a lot of communication back and forth here and probably now this person here is choosing the right path okay the right path is probably to take control of the situation and move towards you okay so it's like now they have that willingness and determination and the drive you know to come towards you but this is movement out here okay there is victory out here i do feel that this is someone yeah who you're dealing with who probably was very laid back all this while not taking action out here the other thing i could see is that there are chances that you are moving forward from them but i'm not getting that so much let's take one more card give me one more card for the best possible outcome for cancer one more card for the best possible outcome for cancer wow yeah so they're coming towards you but they're still not giving you what you want just to let you know they're still not giving you what you want here yeah so there is a reconciliation here but it's a lot of unknown energy it's like yes i love you i want you but i don't know where this is going this is someone who has a fear of the unknown and everything's still in the dark okay but i do feel here that the moment you try to walk away from them right which you already are in your mind the moment you walk away <laughs> they're coming back but when they're coming back they're still doing the same thing okay so it's still repeating itself out here i don't know why for some reason out here i mean i don't want to give i don't want to tell you that they're coming back out here and then like you know you guys are just like watching this and like that's why i wanted to clarify this person is still coming towards you with that non committal energy so they love you they want you they want to build with you but if you were asking them to come back around this time around and give you stability security no i think this person is still very focused on their career money goals etc or uh, you are just moving forward from this person out here where you're more focused on yourself take it how it resonates okay because i still see you as someone who's running from the situation instead of having that clarity i think eventually you will have clarity out here now clarity does not always mean that clarity has to come from this person out here it could be closure it could be some inner clarity something where you're thinking logically okay something happens and you start to think about it logically okay like hey what's really going on out here do i really want to waste my time sticking out stay longer here to a situation which is not fulfilling me or do i really want to keep moving forward and this person has to come and they'll catch up if they have to uh i do feel this is you moving forward here i think earlier you were like in that place where you were like you know what um you were directionless you were straying off the path out here but i think now you're going to take action you know what you want and i think you're moving forward here and i think there are chances you're more focused on your career goals if this person has to come they will come yeah i think you were unfocused here you were not sure about the next step you were probably very scattered and confused but i do feel that now you're not confused anymore okay there's no misdirection you are on the right path out here and you're choosing to move forward here yeah i think you're choosing to move forward out here but that whatever it is right even if you're choosing to move forward there is still communication coming from this person here it'll just come out of nowhere it'll be probably very flaky but it will come out of nowhere come out of nowhere come out of nowhere 